The Thai Center would like to thank you by reflecting on our work in collaborative partnerships. Image of a mother and child. A quote reads, know that you're enough. You do not have to be a perfect teacher who knows all about my child's disability and inclusion to make a profound impact on his life. Presume competence. Intentionally make my child an equal member of your classroom and don't be afraid to ask for support. Courtney, parent and advocate in Washington State. Image of a teacher and students. A quote reads, I have learned so much about engaging all learners. Giving students more choices and options for how they will engage in their learning has been so powerful. Learning about UDL has totally changed everything for me. It has changed how I think about every single lesson, helped me see students in a different way. Instead of seeing the barriers in the students, I'm seeing the barriers in the classroom and ways I might remove the barriers for the students. I am asking, how can every student engage in this task? How can they engage in this learning? I want them working on the fourth grade learning goal we have in front of us. Gina Tom, fourth grade teacher at Lake Washington School District. Image of a woman, a quote reads, one of the proudest things I am in my career is being part of this process, advocating for our students with the most significant cognitive disabilities, creating an environment for them where they can learn, they can prosper, and they can excel. Amy Gramota, middle school principal in Carroll County School District. Video and image of boys working together on birdhouse. Images of boys in a science class. A quote reads, I don't know if you remember, but I was the one at the beginning of the year who was saying maybe they shouldn't be in the content area classes. I was nervous and thought it would be too overwhelming. It has gone way smoother than I expected. I am super excited to have them there. A general education science teacher. A quote reads, Working with ties has allowed us to have accountability. Our action plan has us in a constant state of reflection and improving what we are doing for students. I have seen the benefits at the school level that are second to none for all students and the entire school community, as well as at the district level. We now have more shared ownership of all students, including students with the most significant disabilities, and educating them alongside their non-disabled peers with rigorous content. Christine Bechtel, Supervisor of Special Education in Carroll County Public Schools. Image of boys in football uniforms. Quote reads, friends are the chocolate chips of our lives. Student. The goal for Ryan is to communicate across all environments with both peers and adults. I would like him to express needs, wants, and opinions, and to also exchange in information and develop social closeness. We hope Ryan will lead a full, happy, and healthy life that includes inclusion across all environments. This is extremely important to me. My dream is to give Ryan as much ownership as possible, pride, and independence with everything he does across all in, um, environments. So my dreams for Ryan are no different than anyone else. It's just ownership in his life and the ability to do anything and everything he can by himself or with as little help as possible. Image of a teacher. A quote reads, When I first approached you, I explained that we would be working on creating sustainable changes in district educational systems so that students with significant cognitive disabilities can fully engage in the same instructional and non-instructional activities as their general education peers, while being instructed in a way that meets individual learning needs. You said yes. You had a smile from ear to ear. It was as though you have been waiting for others to jump on your bandwagon. Jana Merrick, Assistant Director of Exceptional Achievers to Nicole Lesniak, Special Educator in School Town of Munster. A quote by Kathleen Greenberg, Inclusion Instructional Coach in Montgomery County Public Schools reads, Why is inclusion important? Because context matters. People, places, things, and ideas are defined by their surroundings. When we segregate people based on their unique strengths and challenges, how they learn and communicate, or how they move, we create a context that defines people as disabled and limits opportunity. With evidence of student growth and achievement, the biggest doubters are our biggest advocates for creating systematic change toward inclusive education for everyone.
video of Kate Smith, second grade teacher. One thing I feel strongly about is that good inclusive practices start with making sure to emphasize your class community and acceptance. This year we had a huge focus on relationships, kindness, having patience, and caring. We had values such as we all belong, we're all going to help one another, and we all learn differently and that's okay. In fact, it's actually important because that's how we get new ideas and new perspectives. Students really followed, in my opinion, what they saw modeled. So they interact the same way with each other that they see me interacting with um, different students and their peers. They use the same language that they hear adults using, and they use the same approaches in getting their classmates to communicate or to work together with them. So it's really important you as the teacher are modeling what you want to see your students doing. They are gonna copy you. Image of Colton. A quote by Colton's mom, Jamie, reads, Providing Colton access to his general ed peers gives him good role models, teaches him different natural social opportunities. He is able to access activities that the school provides, such as being a crossing guard or ASB, student council. These are just opportunities that everyone should have access to, and I fully expect that all children, including Colton, have that right. A quote reads, we pride ourselves in striving to be an inclusion-first district focused on finding personal success in each and every student we serve. At PHM, we are not just focused on making adjustments to our current practices. Instead, we are determined to create genuine system change for inclusive education. Gina L. Todd, Director of Exceptional Education, and Elizabeth Zachary, Secondary Supervisor of Exceptional Education, and Penn Harris Madison School Corporation. Video of Michael Clark, Principal of Rockwell Elementary, Lake Washington School District. Work with students and families during the pandemic offered us a mindset and a paradigm shift. Uh, if we can promote inclusive practice during a once in a lifetime unprecedented pandemic, we can do it every school year. Uh, this year also compelled our general and special educators to plan and collaborate in a deeper way than they ever have before. And I've actually had multiple staff members tell me that not only do they want to include that, those practices in that work, they want to expand it. And so we're very passionate about this inclusive work and um, I'm excited for all of our students to return in the fall. Uh, Rockwell students deserve access to their general education classroom curriculum and peers and they're going to get just that next year. Images of Debbie, Patricia, and Diane. A quote reads, it is an honor to learn, reflect, and collaborate with you. Image of Gail, Jen, Terry, and Jessica. Quote reads, thank you for your dedication to each and every child. It is our absolute pleasure working with you. List of schools, Maryland State Department of Education, Carroll County Public Schools, North Carroll Middle School, Eldersburg Elementary School, Mount Airy Middle School, Sandy Mount Elementary School, Spring Garden Elementary School, Mechanicsville Elementary School, Manchester Elementary School, Oklahoma Road Middle School. Montgomery County Public Schools, Cabin John Middle School, Lakewood Elementary School, Farmland Elementary School, Candlewood Elementary School, Rockville High School, Ninth Grade Transition. Washington Office of the Superintendent of Public Instruction, Lake Washington School District, Rockwell Elementary School, Twain Elementary School, Kirkland Middle School, Kirk Elementary, Lakeview Elementary, Rose Hill Elementary, Franklin Elementary, Carson Elementary, Audubon Elementary, Ben Rush Elementary. Indiana Department of Education, School Town of Munster, Wilbur Wright Middle School, Penn Harris Madison School Corporation, Penn High School. Thai Center image that reads, Time in general education, increasing the number of students included in grade level general education classrooms majority at least 80% of the school day. Instructional effectiveness, collaboration across educators and specialized support personnel to provide curriculum and instruction in general education classrooms. Engagement, 
engagement with general education curriculum, and age grade peers. Support. Support at both the state and district level in shared ethic of thinking inclusion first. Thai Center is supported primarily through a cooperative agreement, number H326Y170004, with the Research to Practice Division, Office of Special Education Programs, U.S. Department of Education. The Center is affiliated with the National Center on Educational Outcomes in the Institute on Community Integration at the College of Education and Human Development, University of Minnesota. Opinions expressed on this website do not necessarily reflect those of the U.S. Department of Education or offices within it.